In this lesson, we're going to learn how to interact with items in the scene. All right, so in the last lesson, we had set up our character blueprint that whenever we press the F key, it will shoot out a ray, and we had set it up to where we could see that actually happening in the scene. Now, as of right now, um, everything is set up, and now what we want to do is we want to start setting up things like conditions, getting all of that um, ready to go. So whenever we um, actually hit an object, whenever we press the F key, um, it will interact in some sort of way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and left click and drag off of this execution um, node and we're going to type in branch. Now branch is a great uh, and very common uh, node that you'll use and this is kind of like an if statement if you want to think of it that way. So you'll notice that it has to execute and it needs a condition. Now the condition in this case is that if it hits something. So we're just going to say um, return value and we're going to set that condition. Okay. Now we also need to set out uh, what it's going to hit and so what we're going to do is we're going to drag off of this one and we're going to use um, a node called break hit result and what this is going to do is just going to allow us to have information about the object that we've hit and so we get a lot of information here. Now we don't need all of this we're just going to be using the hit actor so we want to know what we hit exactly. So what do I want this to do uh, whenever we uh, press the F key? Do I want it to destroy the object? Do I want it to um, add a variable? Do I want it to change a variable in some way? Um, in this case, I do want it to go ahead and change a variable. So to get started, let's go ahead and drag and drop off of our branch. So we're saying if this condition is true, meaning that it has hit some sort of object, I want to check to see what object it has hit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in uh, um, a search term. We're going to say cast. And I want to cast to a specific object. Now you'll notice here that I can't really, I don't see anything there because our context sensitive is on. Instead of dragging out from true here, let's go ahead and go to the hit actor. And let's drag this out right up to here. And then we'll type in cast. And you'll see that we get all kinds of different um, variables that we can use here or nodes that we could use. Um, so this is going to use a cast. We're going to check to see if it's casting to a specific object and you'll see here that we have pickaxe, our blueprint pickaxe here. So let's go ahead and select that. And that's going to be our object. Then what we'll do is we'll say, all right, if that's true, um, we're going to cast and see if it is the pickaxe. Okay, and so in this case, um, we need to say, what if it's a success? If we cast and we hit the pickaxe, what do we want this to do? Well, I want it to go ahead and destroy the object. So I'm going to left click and drag off of this execution node, and we're just going to type in destroy. And you'll see destroy actor. Okay, now we need to tell it what actor to destroy. Right now it's set to self, and that would destroy the player, and we don't want that. So we're going to come in and we're going to say, all right, as the pickaxe, we're going to go ahead and tell it to destroy that object. All right, now let's go ahead and just test it out. Let's compile this, we'll save it, we'll go into our scene and we'll just simply hit play. And then we're inside, let's go ahead and go over to our pickaxe. Now it might be helpful to add like a crosshair to the middle of the, the screen here, but um, I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Now you'll notice that once I hit that, um, it has destroyed that game object, perfect. Now let's go ahead and hit Shift F1 to close out of that and then stop. And let's go back into our character. Now, I don't want it to destroy uh, the pickaxe just to do it. I want to have it pick up an item. And the way that we can simulate that we've picked it up is to create a variable telling us that we have picked it up. So the logic that I want to create is that if I pick up that pickaxe, um, it's going to turn on a variable. It's going to set it to true. And then because that variable is set to true, I want to be able to destroy the barrel. So to do this, let's go ahead and create a variable for this information to be held. To create a variable, we'll simply go up to add a new variable and we'll give it a name. So we're going to say has pickaxe, hit enter, and we're going to make this a boolean variable type. And a boolean is basically it holds information that is either true or it's false. So on or off. Now that that is set, we need to set its default value. But before we can do that, we must compile and then we'll save and then 
uh, by default we want the has pickaxe to be turned off, so unchecked. So that's fine the way it is. Now what I want to do is I want to say that if I uh, cast and I hit that pickaxe, if I pick it up, I want it to set my has pickaxe variable to true. So I just used a keyword there. I want to set it to this. So let's go ahead and drag our has pickaxe variable into this and you'll see we have get and set. I said that I want to set it to true so we're going to set this and we're going to go off of this and we're going to execute into that set. We're going to set it to true so we're going to check that and then we're going to plug that into the destroy. So after it has set that variable we're going to tell it to destroy that variable. Now before we do that let's go ahead and do a quick test. Let's hold down alt and de uh, click off of that execution point and that will deselect that. Let's go ahead and leave it just the way it is right now and let's go ahead and hit alt and just disconnect that all the way through. Let's hit control, or actually compile and then save. Let's go in here, let's go ahead and hit play and we're going to come up to that pickaxe and I want you to notice something. Um, if I hit shift F1 that'll allow me to go into mouse control. Let's go ahead and select our pickaxe and let's try to select that from up here in the scene outliner. Let's go ahead and pull this down a little bit and I'm looking for the BP pickaxe. There it is. And notice this right here. Um, we should see a, an output here. Oh I didn't make that uh, visible. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and stop this. Let's go to a character Let's take this variable right here, the has pickaxe. Let's go ahead and expose that, making it visible in the um, in the details panel. So now let's go ahead and go back really quickly. Let's go to our level. Let's hit play, and then we'll go ahead and hit Shift F1 to get our mouse control back. Select the pickaxe, and here uh, we should see that value there. And let's see here. Am I just missing it? Oh, I need to select the character. I'm sorry. Um, a little confused there. Let's go ahead and select the character. And we should see that. There it is. Default has pickaxe. It's set to false. So now if I go ahead and left click in here, let's go ahead and just hit F over the pickaxe. And once we hit that, you'll notice it didn't destroy it, but you'll notice that right here it has set that to true. All right, let's go ahead and stop that. Now let's go ahead and hook all of that back up. Let's go ahead and set it to where once it has set that, it's going to destroy the object. In this case, it's going to destroy the pickaxe, so we need to reassociate that. All right. Now let's compile that. We'll save it. We know that that's going to work because we've already tested both of those, but if you're uncomfortable, go ahead and, and test it out again. Now what I want to do is I want to set up the logic to where if I have that pickaxe, I want to check to see if I can destroy the barrel. And so in this case, we need to take the event from the cast failed. So once that pickaxe is gone, we can say, all right, if it's no longer hitting this, we want to check to see if we're hitting a different object. So we're going to drag off of this, and we're going to say cast. Okay. Now, again, that's not coming off of there, so let's try it again. Let's do this. Let's drag off of here, and we'll say cast. And on this one, we're going to say cast to the barrel. So we're going to look for BP underscore barrel. There we go. And then we're going to execute. So once it's failed from the pickaxe, it's going to allow it to move on through to the barrel. Now this probably isn't the best logic. Uh, we could probably set this up to be a little more efficient than this. This is not something that you would want to use for a game, but we're just testing out, taking a look at blueprints and how we can use them. Okay. So with this, it's come through and it will allow us to select the barrel. Okay. And we want to check to see um, if we have the pickaxe. And so let's go ahead and select off of this um, execution node and let's go ahead and do another branch because we're checking to see if a condition is met. And the condition that I want is I want to see if the has pickaxe is true. So I'm going to get the pickaxe. Okay, we're going to check to see if we have that and if that is true then we'll go in and we'll destroy the actor. So I'm going to click off of that and we're going to say destroy and then the target that we want to destroy in this case is going to be the barrel. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and test this out. Let's compile. Let's save it. Let's go into our level 
and let's simply play and we'll come in and let's go ahead and start see if, uh, see if we can select the barrel so hit F you'll notice that nothing's happening here let's go ahead and click on the uh, the axe and there it's disappeared we've destroyed that and then now if we hit F we've destroyed the barrel so you'll notice that we've created a little bit of logic using blueprints now like I said that's probably not the best thing that you would want to use for a game um, it's just a great way of showing you how to use blueprints tie them all together and uh, so forth so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will select around the nodes just these right here and we'll hit C to make a comment and we'll go ahead and we'll call this comment interact and then we'll come around these nodes and we'll select those and we'll make a comment and we'll just call this something like logic or quick logic all right perfect so now I can move these around by their own groups because they're inside of that comment all right so we've talked about blueprints and we've talked about how to create interaction in our level so I hope you guys had fun let's move on into our next lesson where we'll talk about the final assignment